fantastic to be here at the new stadium for Plough Lane being built. And with us is Scott Wagstaff, Jack Radoni. Scott, it's getting very real. Yeah, obviously the boys um, come out and look at it today and it's brilliant. It looks looks like it's a really exciting times ahead for the club. Um, obviously, just looking at it now, it doesn't seem like there's there's uh, obviously a lot done yet, but it's it's coming along nicely and I think it's, it's one of them. It's, I was speaking to Rocket the kit man and I think it's one of them where we're going to you're going to be a lot of emotional people when it when it does sort of start to happen because it's um, it's, it's a massive achievement for the club and it's exciting times ahead. Jack Radoni, having come through the academy, how much have you heard about this story over the years about this being the final piece in the jigsaw coming back to Plough Lane? Yeah, well, being here since 11, um, I've just like heard about it all, like gone through it all, and um, just seems like it's coming together so nicely for the club to end up coming back to here, and then hopefully we can keep pushing with our out there on the pitch and um, get the club up up the ranks and hopefully get them promoted. Waggy, we've been given a tour of the main stand here. It's beginning to look very impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it is, especially with some of the bars, and I think a few of the fans will be happy with. Um, but no, it's, it's like you said, it's coming along very nicely and. And as there looks like there's going to be a lot of exciting restaurants and, and things like that as well, which is always nice. Um, and it's going to be a, a great stadium uh, for, for this club and in these exciting times. And I think, like you said, that all the boys are getting a, a bit excited now. And like you said, it's coming, coming a little bit real. And, and hopefully we'll, um, we'll obviously be uh, in League One next year with, with this brilliant stadium. We've got Joe Piggott and Mitch Pinnock here as well. And they're both sort of offering advice and looking to do a bit of DIY themselves here. They want to chip in, don't they? To, to be fair, I think I'd listen to Pins over Pigs. I think Pigs is a bit of a dreamer, to be honest with you, that, that side of it. But uh, no, Pins obviously knows his stuff um, with his background, uh, with obviously this. Uh, so he's he's saying this and that about it. But he said that it's, it's, he's look, it's looking well and, and he's excited as well for it. Jack, you've come through the academy. Um, what this can do for a community as well now, bringing so many more local talent to come and play for Wimbledon, yeah? Yeah, it's, in, it's built in a good area. Um, so hopefully... Um, we can find some more talent around here, want to come down, watch the games, hear about us moving in here. It's a stadium that's maybe local to them. They can come down and um, have a watch and hopefully um, get them into football. I think they've got a five-a-side five -a -side pitch down there or something for people like young young players who want to play, come down and play um, in a great environment. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be really good for the club and the community. Just over there was the site of the old plough lane over that way. How excited are you the fact that this could be you out here making new history for Wimbledon at Plough Lane? Yeah, it's it's going to be incredible. Just um, stepping out there and playing, um, and I'm still young, so it'll, it'll be a really great feeling knowing coming through the club and ending up back at Plough Lane, so it'll be great.